a question for you. Are you bored and tired of being average? Of having average ideas? Feeling like, I wish I was born a genius. This average boring life doesn't suit me. You know what? I have great news for you. You can become a genius just as you are. Now let me tell you one thing. Every human brain is a big genius has the capability of producing the most brilliant ideas. You just have to make it work. You have to get it ticking. A very warm welcome to this video. My name is Reema and today we're going to talk about something very, very useful for you and for me. How do you become a genius? How do you produce genius ideas? I have some foolproof ideas for you that cannot fail. about developing the mind of a genius or to be able to produce genius ideas. Trust me, it's not that difficult. It all starts with an intention or a desire. Now we all know that ideas are brilliant and they can change the world. But how do you come up with these brilliant ideas? You have to train your brain to produce brilliant ideas. Now, most people who are genius have worked very hard to train their brains. Now, you'll wonder, how can I train my brain? It's not that difficult. The first step is to have a desire or the intention to produce great ideas that can change the world. You have to have the intention to create value in the world. When you have both the intention and the desire, Trust me, you'll be supported by the universe and brilliant ideas will start to develop and form in your mind. So keep telling yourself, I want to have brilliant life-changing ideas. I want to have the desire to bring positive change in the world through my brilliant ideas. And then take a piece of paper, okay, and write down the first five ideas that come, down, come to your mind. As time passes, you'll get better and better at producing these ideas. In the beginning, your ideas could be like average and simple and boring. But as time passes, you will start to, start to develop the most genius and brilliant ideas. So well, have the intention, have the desire and start taking action. So have the intention, have the desire and keep working on training your brain and you'll get there when it comes to brilliant ideas. Now, another thing that you need to do in order to produce brilliant life-changing ideas is be positive and be willing. Now, you're going to ask me, what does it mean to be willing to have brilliant ideas? Well, sometimes we resist the good things in our life because we don't have enough self-belief or maybe we don't respect ourselves as much or maybe deep down we feel like we don't deserve the good things in life. That's why I keep saying to yourself, I'm willing to have great life-changing ideas. The more you will it, the more your mind will support you, the universe will support you. The moment you say that it's most likely that I won't ever have a brilliant life-changing idea, even that will come true. So don't resist, just persist, be willing, say I'm willing to have brilliant life-changing ideas and you will. And slowly, slowly, these ideas will take shape in your mind and a seemingly average idea could actually have the spark that could change your life and change the world. third point is work, 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 work. No, I'm not singing my favorite Rihanna song, though I love the song. I'm telling you that you need to put in daily work to have brilliant ideas coming to your mind. Like we discussed, every day write down those five ideas related to your work, your project, your business, your personal life. Now you may wonder why every day? It's important because you're teaching your brain to come up with new ideas every day. 
Now, not all your ideas will be path-breaking and brilliant and genius. Some may be boring, repetitive, but as time passes, challenge yourself to come up with better ideas. Scratch out the average ones and keep only the good ones. Now, you will find that your brain is very smart and creative and with each passing day, you will start to see that the quality of the ideas that are flowing out actually becomes better and better and better. And in no time, say maybe 60 days from the first day, you'll realize that the quality of your ideas has gone up. You no longer produce average ideas. You're actually producing good ideas. Great, so now you've come from average to good, now you have to get better and then you have to get brilliant. So continue this process of putting in the work and you know what baby, it'll actually work, 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 work for you. Now the fourth and important point for you to become an absolute genius is to take action. Yes, taking action is very, very important. Now, some of the ideas will be so amazing that they'll actually urge you to take action. Now, follow your gut feeling, follow your instinct and take action. Even if you take simple baby steps every day, it's fine. Continue to take consistent action to put your idea into practice. Even if you put in 10 minutes a day, in a few weeks, you would have come very far in making your idea close to reality. So action is everything. If you take action on an idea, your mind is more likely to produce more such amazing ideas. And these ideas are most likely to bring you success and satisfaction. So make sure that you're putting in the work and taking the action because otherwise there's no point in having ideas on paper. Ideas are meant to change the world. Take the action and change the world. favorite point is? It's this point. Cross the finish line. Now we all know that life is not a race. It's more like a marathon where everyone walks at their own unique pace and you know we need to finish things in our own time and that's most important. Now if you have an idea that you think has potential, start taking action, start putting in the work but then beware of the tendency to leave things halfway because geniuses don't do that. They work hard against all odds and cross the finish line and see it through to the end. So train your brain not to give up on ideas when the going gets tough, not to give up halfway. The more you push yourself and press on forward on your path, the more you're developing your winning mind. So the process and the end point are actually the same. You're pushing your mind to become more brilliant by pursuing a brilliant idea against all odds. And you know one thing I've realized in life that taking action is the best and the most important step to actualization. If you don't take action, you're never going to get anywhere. And if you leave things halfway, there's no point in having started anything at all. So if you want to turn out to be a brilliant person, an absolute genius, you know, come up with the idea, put in the work, take the action and do not give up halfway. So there you go, I gave you some foolproof solutions to becoming an absolute and complete genius. You know, there's one more thing that I want to add in the end. Never doubt yourself. Never doubt that your brain and your mind is brilliant and that you are a born genius. The day you start doubting, none of my solutions will work for you. So start with self-belief and walk this path and all the best on becoming a fantastic, fabulous, world-changing genius. I truly hope that you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you want to enjoy many more videos like this. If you want to, make sure you subscribe to our channel that is Skillopedia, the place to learn skills for the real world. And for right now, it's time for this brilliant genius mind called Rima to sign out and catch you another time. Till then, take care.